G'day my YouTube friends, how is everyone going? I hope wherever you are you're happy, you're safe and you're keeping well. Uh, my name's Caroline and I do some cash stuffing videos and this is my third pay of January because it's a golden month for me and if you're unsure what that is that's where I get paid fortnightly or bi-weekly to some and I managed to have three in one month just because of how the days fell you know because it's a long month and it fell at the start and the beginning and one in the middle so I'm really excited to be doing this cash stuffing so this is the third pay of January, let's go. So first up, I always, always start off with emptying my wallet. And if you're new here, welcome. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. So I've been, last uh, video I started doing this tray and you guys seem to like it. So I've got $10 in twos. And we've got some silver too. Hope everyone's been well. I've had such a good response to my last video, which was a competition, and I cannot wait to reveal who the winner is, because I have drawn it already. It's very, very exciting to someone. Can't believe how many people commented and and said beautiful things, and it's just, I can't, I wish I had money for all of you. <laughs> um, so yeah, so by after putting in some, I've, tens and two seem to be doing the most damage so that's that and then i've just realized i forgot to grab my rollover one second all right i got it so i have ten dollars in petrol and i had forty dollars in spend so not the biggest rollover month but we had australia day on wednesday so you know we had a little bit of a um, family barbecue so the money went mainly to food so we put this this is my rollover binder and at the end of every month i just put whatever at the end of every month at the end of every pay cycle i just put the money in there so that's how much money i have for the end of january and i'll unstuff this at the end of the year and see how much i can save in a year just by putting away the money that i've not spent from that pay cycle all right but then we have to restuff the envelopes one two 300 for spend and 50 for petrol and that gives me a hundred and fifty dollars a week to buy spend do what I like and fifty dollars for fuel and to fill up my car it normally takes forty dollars but I've not really done that much driving so I've been trying to get forty dollars for every two pays which has been good because it just means more rollover for the rollover binder all right, then next we're on to our sinking fund. So sorry, I'll move that forward. All right. So splurge, this is my miscellaneous, just extra, extra money, is getting 50. So now that it has 150. I've also started selling these trackers, these ones, white ones with my pattern on it. Um, so yeah, so I've changed up my ones. I had brown ones before, but these are the actual ones that I sell now. So that's cool. So you guys can have access to those if you wish. So $150 now in splurge. Hope everyone's doing well. Hope everyone's had a nice fortnight since I've spoken to you last. So this is getting 50 SOS emergency fund. So now we have 2,000 in the bank. One, two, three, four, 455, 556, 657, 2,700 with a goal of 3,000 dollars. All right. And then my savings is getting $150 and that's because as you can see we're going to be now at $7,000 so in my next video which will happen also on this weekend um, I'm going to do a end of month um, video for you so $6,000 1 2 and 7 and so I'll be able to swap this out for another 1k placeholder and then I use those hundreds to you know decompress other um, envelopes so I love them they're my they're my favorite videos of the bill exchange banknote exchange love them so travel is getting 50 
And so now that should have one, two, three in the bank. One, two, three, four, five, five, fifty-six, six, fifty-seven, seven, fifty-eight, and eight, fifty, thirty-eight, fifty, which is correct. Now, sometimes I think should I use trackers or not, but I really sometimes I've messed up, and I'm so glad I've had the trackers. Uh, Caro Cash is getting fifty, so that's now got a hundred. They are good. P.O. Box is getting 20. So now that has 20, 40, 50, 55, and 60. Car insurance is getting 40. So now that has 1, 2, 20, 40, 60, 80, 3, 320. Car Rego and CTP. Also getting 40. 1, 2, 3, 20, 40, 60, 80, 4, 420. Car service is going to get $20. So now that has 1, 2, 3, 4, 20, 40, 60, and 70, 470. I had this goal at 500, but I've upped it to 1,000 because I thought if I ever need tyres or something, they're about $500 to replace my whole car. So I want this to be like almost an, a car service slash emergency fund. So, or if I get in an accident, I think my excess is pretty low. I think it's around four, 500 bucks, but still, you know, you've got to come up with that cash and I'm trying to keep the SOS. I know I have that if I need it, all my savings, but you know, if I can, since I've got that at a certain level, that's good. I might as well start having secondary ones for certain things. And that way I feel really good, you know? Health is going to get 50, so that's 51.50. Head to toe is getting 20. So now that has 51, 52, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20. Gifts lastly, this took a hit. My sister in law's birthday, big milestone birthday, so it did take a hit, but that's okay because that's what it was there for. I did the savings challenge as well, which was fun. So now that has 51 and 50 in there, which is great. All right, February is a bit of a big birthday month for me because I've got my sister in law, I've got my brother got a few a couple others so you know it's gonna probably get a little bit more of a hit too <laughs> but that is my sinking funds but before I go on to my savings funds let's do the giveaway uh, so yeah you guys are insane the amount of comments um, I tried to help out because you needed to be publicly subscribed so I tried to comment back as many people as I can to to get yourself subscribed publicly subscribed to be in it to win it and a lot of you did that which is great so here is the lucky winner get ready here's the draw right now boom all right here we go i'm so excited about this all right paste duplicate hashtag caro cash which was the keyword get comments wow Oh, it's a lot of comments. All right, start. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, Google Ads. Ugh. All right, here we go. Ooh, good luck all. Kaz Watterson. Congrats. Hashtag Caracash. Hmm, maybe new envelopes or stuff some envelopes I already have set up. Yes. Yes. All right, let's check to see. Yep, and she is publicly subscribed. There you go. Well, well done, Kaz. So if you want to get in touch with me on Instagram or, you know, um, I think you've actually purchased something from me from Etsy before. So you can even get in contact, you know, reply to your order. Um, that was a while ago, if I can recall. So very, very huge congratulations to you. And again, I'm sorry to everyone else who missed out. There were so many really heartfelt answers as well. It's, you know, some people wanting to donate money and I just thought that was really special so congrats again all right and now we are going to go on to my savings 
I'm really torn. I really love doing these. I don't know which one's my favorite binder now. These are just so exciting. And get ready, get ready, because this is exciting. I'm finally finishing my $1,000 savings challenge because all I need to do is add $20 to that. Let's color that bad boy in. And we are done. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 20, 40, 60, 80, and 1,000 big ones. So I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to put this. I'll do this in my next bill exchange. I'll, I'll transfer that over. But I am so, so grateful to be done with that. Uh, that one, it's fun because, you know, with this savings challenge as well, not to just, you know, chip my own horn, but, um, you know, you've got $5 and then you do have for some 50. So, you know, if you're having a really quiet week, you can put the $5 in. If you've got some bonus money, try and tackle a 50 if you can. It's just a really good way to save a thousand bucks. All right, next up is the summer savings challenge. And this one is getting 35 this week. Fine everywhere. 20, 10, and 5, which makes 35. So let's put the 20 in there. And there we go. So now this has 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 200, 10, 15, 20, 25. There you go. We are almost done because I think it's the $300 total for this one. So that'll be good. Alright, Easter. Easter is getting 15. That is coming up. Now has 20, 30, 40, 45, and 50. Let's just color in 15. So we'll do a 10 and a 5. And I'm also doing a QA. Um, I've asked if anyone wants to, you know, ask me um, some questions and I'll, you know, respond with the answer oh, look i'm going to do like an answer review so if anyone is interested um feel free to even leave some comments on this video if you like and i can add them to the q a that i am going to do i said to people have fun with it and some of the questions are hilarious and then there's some more serious ones which are fine and i'm more than happy to uh respond as well to those so i've never done one before i'm just not going to be alive or anything i'm just going to be doing a video on and answering some questions so yeah, feel free to comment down below if you're interested in featuring a question from yourself. So Apple Store, this is very exciting as well because I am going to put in $150 and complete this bad boy. So we can colour in every last little apple. And I think I'm going to wait though until I get the, 24, the Apple 14. Um, just because, you know, the 13 has already been out now for a couple of months and you know the 14's coming, you know it's coming. So I think I'm going to do that and, um, yeah, but at least I have the money now, $2,000 to buy a new phone the moment it comes out. So this should be 2000 so 100 in gift card, one, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's a $1,000, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, and a thousand. So there's $2,000 which I will be doing a, <laughs> I will be putting this in the bank next video. Um, and yeah, I am done. I feel great about this one because this one was a big one. You know, you had some hundreds and I remember, if I'm trying to remember, I'm pretty sure I had another challenge which I put into this challenge and I thought, no, I'm just gonna stick with this one. Oh, it's been a while now, but yeah, really excited to be done with this one. Uh, Dyson is going to get $40. Um, after the Dyson hair products, if you're new. So 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190, 210, 220 now in my Dyson, which is great. Already 220 bucks for just putting like some 20s and I think one time I put a 50 in, like a 70 or something. It all adds up, it all adds up. 
and you know I'm very very grateful that I'm able to do these as big as I do like I don't have any major debt and I know others are struggling with that so you know please don't feel bad that you can't do these kind of challenges as quickly either because it all just comes down to whatever suits you I'm very 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 fortunate I don't have debt otherwise I wouldn't be able to do these this crazy hard either so it's not um, for me it's all about a spending thing I used to spend every last cent I had so this is just more about mindset and putting money towards savings challenges instead of spending it so i'm going to add 20 to my melbourne cup fund so that's 50 70 90 100 105 now sits already in something that i don't need until november but it's good because i can knock out one of these big because the biggest one on this challenge is 20 bucks All right, Christmas. This just amazes me that I've got this much money already for this Christmas. Um, but I did start in November, October last year. So Christmas is going to get 60. All right, let me just, oop, oop, oop. All right, let me just color in three of these so it can dry. counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 80, oh my god, 6, $640, dead set, that is just awesome, because I want to try and do this twice, which is over $2,000 then, so yeah, uh, I'd like to get through this and get that all sorted, because we also start buying our presents sometimes in October, because we have to send some interstate, so we need to be prepared, because the postal system just crashes in the month of December, with delays and everything, so I, wanted, I like to be prepared, <laughs> especially for Christmas, because I find, you know, it's so disappointing when things don't arrive in time. So lastly, my $3,000 challenge is getting 70 which is the remainder of the money. So now that has 51, 52, 53, 50, 70, 80, $380 already. So we're at 10%. <laughs> um, so we're going to put in a, what do we do? A 40 and a 30. 40 and a 30. There we go. So there we go. That's another paycheck fully stuffed. Everything has a place, which is great. I um, know I'm not going to spend this money now, which is what this is all about. So. Okay, next up is my Caro Cash Collect segment. And this is where I talk about some banknotes or coins from my collection as I am a banknote and coin collector. So I am going to talk about today US banknotes and this in particular, the fractional currency that was introduced by the US during and following the Civil War. So I have two notes, very old, old notes. Look how cute they are. And just for size comparison, if anyone in the US is watching, that is the size comparison. Pretty, they're, they're pretty small. And if you're in Australia, their notes are about the same size as our hundred dollar note. Uh, yeah, so pretty, pretty small. So these notes were used between 1862 and 1876. And these could be redeemed by the US Postal Service for the face value of the postage stamps. And these notes stood in uh, the circulation because uh, during the war, people were afraid of losing their wealth and they hoarded their coins. So these kind of stood in for that. And so this one is 10 cents. It's just so cute. Look, look at the back. And I don't even dare take them out of these plastics because in particular the 25 cent here, it's got a nice big crease and I feel like it could tear if I was to remove it from this plastic protector. So, so cute. So these were very, very small as you can see and uh, they were issued in 3, 5, 10, 15, and 25 and 50 cent denominations and very very cute so this 25 cent coin in 1860 is about worth seven dollars of today's money so it is about right and what like you know cost to send something back in the day but I just think these are so adorable and I love having these in my collection so this coin sorry this banknote not coin uh, this says here Sorry, I'm trying to get it in 
focus act of march 3rd 1863 can you believe that this was around during the american civil war someone of that era touched this banknote used it sent it to probably post something to a loved one hoping they're okay that's just it's crazy and this is why I love this I love history especially the older stuff that I have which I do have quite a lot of old stuff I've been showing you a lot of modern stuff but I want to try and get into my older stuff that I have because for me this I'm addicted to history and this here it just makes me wonder how many hands this has gone through before it's come into my collection and I just I'm absolutely obsessed <laughs> and I hope you like these I hope you know I like show and tell and I like showing you what I've got so um, comment down below if you've seen this before especially if you're in the US have you seen these like you know maybe great-grandparents have had these in their collection you know kept them and just love to know if anyone has seen these before <laughs> let me know and then thank you very much for watching this um, episode and also congrats again to Kaz for winning the money uh, please like and comment and subscribe if you've not and I shall see you in my next video T until then take care bye